final game of the first week of the AFL Finals. The Brisbane Lions hosting Port Adelaide Power at the Gabba. Alex. Yeah, the line minus 14 and a half, plus 15 and a half for Port Adelaide. Over under 172 and a half. Brisbane have won four on the bounce against Port Adelaide at the Gabba average winning margin of 28 points. Uh, start off with player props. Lockie Neal is the obvious starting point. He's got an average of 29.1 possessions against Port Adelaide through his career. And in the last two weeks, he's had 30 and 31. We'd sort of flagged it that he'd been very quiet for a portion during the middle of the year. Coming into finals, he's like, all right, I'm back. I'm ready. Yeah, like, no Ashcroft helps, I reckon, as well. I don't know if it's helped or not, but it's yeah. like he's like realised that he's an elite player and it's like, okay, I actually need to lift <laughs> yeah. if my team's going to win a flag. Well, I know. Just ask the AFL's Brownlow tracker and... Oh, right. Oh, no, yeah. I think he's Apparently first. he's winning the I'm brown gonna, yeah, the check, AFL man. one said he's winning by like six votes. Anyway, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> he's $2.25 to get 30 plus. Uh, looking at sort of uh, at game breakers because I'm avoiding Dunkley because he's been horrendous in the last month. He's only had 10 clearances in his past four games oh. and his average possessions are way down on his career. So looking around, you like you have a look at players that play well at the Gabber. And I've said it in my article. We've talked about Zach Bailey and Hugh McCluggage being downhill skiers. The stats back it up. They are way better at the Gabba yeah. than they are away uh, from home. Most of the Brisbane players. Yeah. Uh, Bailey average. Uh, you could almost call them flat track bullies. Yes, yes as you have many times. <laughs> many uh, times. So Bailey averages 16 possessions a game at the Gabba and has kicked 60 goals during his time there. So 15 plus and two goals is three bucks. Ooh, for, that's good, yeah. for McCluggage, he's got that awesome record of 20 or more in his last 20 games at the Gabba. And the se- seven of the 10 goals that he's kicked this year have been at the Gabba. 20 and a goal, $2.26. Hmm. Got to mention Chucky. He averages – so this is the interesting thing I found. He averages 1.7 goals a game in his career. He's kicked 134 in 66 at the Gabba. In finals, he's got three or more in f- four of Brisbane's last five finals, and he averages like 2.2 goals a game in finals. So Ooh, he lifts, lifts his finals, finals average above his career average, which nice. is, that's sort that's of saying want, yeah. player for the occasion. Three plus is $2.25. Hmm. Looking across to Port Adelaide. In the 17 wins that Port have had this season, our favourite, Butters and Rosie, they've averaged 55 possessions as a duo. Butters coming into this game has had six straight with 30 or more, which is why he could sneak the Brownlow. Rosie averages bang on 26 a game throughout the year. He's a dollar thirty three for that 25 plus. Jeez. So that's just one you throw in for your multis and you just ekes out the 26, 27. Yep. Uh, and I had butters for 30 plus. I think it was two dollars twenty five. It's in my article at the moment. It's not on the sheet. I'm glad you gave him yeah. a shine to the butters Brownlow thing because I've been banging on it for about He's a sneaky, yeah. eight weeks now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his butters last Brownlow month, his last he month was paying? very he's good. Four fifty, yeah. Oh, it's a sneaky. Okay, well, he's not sneaky. He's very well found at four dollars fifty. Yeah, but then you got mm. three. Oh, he's so, actually catching up yeah. to Bond. So you have a look. Um, Charlie Dixon isn't playing. They've already come out and said that he's not playing. Yep. So you have a look at this forward line. Todd Marshall's really got to step up. It's You know how it's sort of, sort of oh, yeah, he's good. When's it going to happen? It needs to happen if Port Adelaide want to be. <laughs> the stick insect. Yeah. <laughs> well, he kicked four against Brisbane in round one. Oh, So three okay. plus is $3.15. Five plus is $19 if he has a big day out against Harris Andrews. You can see it happening, but at the well, same time, you time. can see it happening. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, was, was Harris Andrews might have played on uh, Charlie last time. Yeah, maybe but there's also Finn Lacen in there as well. Yeah, so. actually, Finn Lacen will probably take Yeah, it. so there's all of that there. But then you, the, the biggest problem is Brisbane have only given up 65 points per game at the Gabba this year. This that's, is what that's elite. <laughs> makes it a lot harder. Uh, Willie Rioli, he's kicked 13 goals in his last six games. Prior to that, he'd only kicked 14. So he's really lifted in the back half of the season. Two plus is a dollar ninety, uh, and for the first goal kicker, uh, Chucky has done it five times in the last three years. That being Chucky Cameron, he's nine dollars. Right. Eric Hipwood has done it three times in the last two years. He's eleven dollars. Stats guy and I talked about him kicking a bunch of goals in the finals yesterday on the yep. show. I wanted to have something on Lincoln McCarthy. Uh, he's done it three times in the last two years, but there's no price because he missed the last couple of games through injury, and apparently he's going to be playing this weekend. And he's named yeah. Yep. Sam Powell Pepper, like Alex Neil Bullen, has done it four times this year. Ooh. He's $17 to do so. And then Jeremy Finlayson has also done it three times this year, and he's $12 to do so. Of that, I'd want to be on probably Lincoln McCarthy and Powell Pepper. Powell Pepper, I really like, because he's just sitting in the forward pocket yeah. literally most of the game. Powell Pepper yeah. is the first goal kicker whenever you just – go, aha, I bet on everybody not named Sam <laughs> Pal Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, guess what? I just kicked the first goal. He's like, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Again? How do I never back him when he actually does it? Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe I feel this like, weekend's the weekend. I feel like Pal Pepper is the exact same as Alex Neil Bullen. Like if you'd backed him all year. And there's a couple of times. He'd be he smashing. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I just, I just never did. Yeah. <laughs> I screwed the timing every time. 
Yep, so uh, for some game picks, the last five port games at the Gabba have hit the under, and Ooh. it's 172.5. Yep. Yeah. And as said, the Lions have that average winning margin of 28 against Port at the Gabba. So I'm looking at Brisbane, minus 15.5, and, and the under at $3.90. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm taking the Lions, but I like Port at the line. Mm. Plus 15.5, just because I think this is a slightly better all-round Port team that at least – has the offense to keep up with teams. We've seen it time and time again this season. They have looked explosive at times. They've also had like those weird games where they come out and smash like GWS. That was random, yeah. And just like weird stuff like Not that. Random. They're just really good. Yeah. On the road, what are they? They're seven and four yeah. this season. So not bad. And against the line, seven and four. Okay. So oh. essentially when they're on the road, they're not that bad. They cover spreads. And the thing about Brisbane is, wasn't there like a stretch where they just didn't cover the line? Seven of eight. And it was like this horrible run where they're just like, ah, oh, man, what, what do we keep doing? What no, it's doing? coming in, it's coming to the finals. It's been so, seven of eight games they haven't covered. Okay. So I like Port Ooh. to cover, and that gives them that sneaky opportunity to actually win. Because this wouldn't surprise me if we've spent all this time talking about Brisbane going 11-0 and at the Gabba. Yeah. And yeah. then add it. Well, they've done this last so like, oh, Well, all they need to do is get a home qualifying final, and they're making the grand final. They did this. So, and then, yeah. boom, Port come out and go, pow <laughs> And just like <laughs> right in the nose, <laughs> just don't care. And away so they go. Butters and Rose, they have 70 touches and so three. So to this point, <laughs> yeah. I'm actually just going to go Port. I'm changing my pick. We're going oh. Port and at the line. Okay. Port plus 15 and a half. That's ballsy. Yeah, I'm tipping Brisbane. I think they are the be- yeah. Of all four games, we had the joke. Phil Mickelson spent a billion dollars on gambling through his lifetime. If you had a billion dollars this weekend, who are you putting it on in the AFL? Brisbane. Sydney Carl's plus 12 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> you would not do that because it's just torture either I'd way. I'd walk into traffic. To and just, just go, nah, I'm done. <laughs> 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 I couldn't yeah. hack it. Oh, bloody anyway. Yeah. I'm going Brisbane as well. Uh, I don't know about the Lions, so I don't mind yeah, the plus 15 and a half, but yeah, I think they so, yeah, I think they match up really well. So the Lions are right, but Lions at, the, at home, going to be too strong. Yep. Good one. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.